to the WCGC World Cup of Diecast Cast. I'm your host, Matthew Harding, and not Karen. You have to excuse the background noise, it's extremely windy here at Kelsen Hill. Anyway, today we have the second half of the Battle of the Nissans in round one. In the first half, we saw four upsets. Well, when I say we, I mean you all did. I was busy swimming and competing in one of them. Shouldn't be interrupted today. I've hired Angron Rage Fist as a security guard. He's a bit of a thug on the track, and well, he has Rage Fist in his name. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Anyway, let's get on to the racing. Starting with Hot Box Match Wheels versus Silver Fox Racing. Right, let's go with lap one. We have Stormtroopers in and Geo Gavri Milan on the front, Insane G and Lacio Blower on the back. It's a family show, guys. Nobody look at the screen. It is insane, Jay. Oh, what a pass by the bone blower at the end. The, not bone blower, stone thrower. Good job, Karen's not here. Tom, do a better job checking the names. What names? Ugh, what are you doing here? I need to get more information to give to corporate. Anyway, sorry, I am late. I had to complain to the manager of the supermarket because they sold me light milk. But it was just as heavy as normal milk. Last time you tried to talk to corporate, you just spoke to Tom. Tom is not corporate and he's not a manager. Look, just sit there and be quiet and take all the notes you want. Now look, who says it like that anyway? Right, lap two, and we have Insane G and Bone Blower. And I didn't say Bone Blower, don't write that down. No, don't write that down. It is Insane G in the lead again. He's off! He's off! Uh, the stone thrower has pushed his way in front and oh, who crossed the line first there? He was stuck on the edge and Geo Gavri Milan was pushing him down. So I'm not sure who finished first there. We'll wait for the judges to tell us. I'm ask for a replay now. Here is Milan. Oh yes, he just lost control coming out of turn two. Trooperson gets sideways and he accidentally pushes his teammate onto the wall. Now here comes Geo Gavri Milan. He thinks about going around, but then he thinks, nah, I'll just push you to the end. I'm, I'm a nice guy now. Oh, that is close. Oh, that is very close. No wonder they needed the replay for that. They've given it to Storm Trooperson. So he will pick up the seven and uh, Geo Gavri Milan the four. There is Insane G and Storm Trooperson on the dirty ground. Right, we move to a race three. It is 14 to 11 in favour of Silver Fox. And we have the bone block. No, it's Silver Fox in the lead because it's Insane G. Insane G takes it. And second will be Storm Trooperson followed by the bone stoner. And no, sorry, not the bone stoner. That was um, Geo Gavri Milan coming in third. There is the phone grower being rescued and Silver Fox Racing go through 24 to 11. So, we now move on to Legacy Diecast Racing versus Minish Car Racing. Legacy Diecast Racing got two cars inside the top 10 in qualifying, so they are a major threat in this tournament. Um, so let's see if they can take down Miniature Car Racing. Benny Die on the front with Rich G, who is a guest on uh, Miniature Car Racing. It is Benny Die though, and he's got a big lead, and he's going to win easily. Followed by Bolo Brown, and oh, Rich G came off at the end there. The so Benny Die really showing that he is super, super quick. Super quick. LD has taken out our Maligo cassette tape barrier. So no points for him. Now, race two, Bolo Brown and LD on the front this time. And Bolo Brown wins the drag race. But look who is it. Whoa, who was hot on his heels? He got pushed off the track and LD comes in and wins the race. Bolo Brown has finished on his roof. So he will get four points for HG3. But because they are tied... It will go to Legacy Diecast Racing. They will move on to the next round. There is the crash car of Benny Dye. He looks very fast, doesn't he? Even if he did come off the track there, he, look, he looks very fast indeed. Right, we move to the Duck Cup, and I believe we have two challenges here. First up is Syria. We've got Diana, Diana Ramun and Taha Malta in a couple of Chevys. 
And they're up against Boo Island. First Karlstrom on the front. He's got a big lead. And he's going to win comfortably, isn't he? Yep, there he is. Who's that in second? I didn't quite see. Is that the other Bugatti? I think it is. I think that was Anna Odden. So a great start there from Boo Island. What on earth has happened there to Taha Malta? How does that even happen? I don't think we've got a replay for this, unfortunately. We need more camera angles. That is bizarre. How do you even get your car up like that? Wow. Amazing work, Taha Malta. Amazing. What's this? Tom sees a robbery the other night. Tom shows Matthew on video. Tom smart. Tom! Robbery the other night? Are you kidding me? Those cars will be long gone by now. Karen, if you got anything to say about this, was this you and Lacano? Oh, look, there's my Lola and there's my Panos. They were both really hard to get. Karen? Karen? Karen! to shut up also my name is Karin not Karen and we had to take your cars because taking you as well as telling corporate didn't work now you have to listen to our demands from the notes I have taken um counter offer no how about we race each other instead whoever wins gets the other person's car we're moving on to the next duck cup challenge by the way Jenny Pasal. so what do you think of that you guys think you're hot shots? Beat me on the track. Counter your counter offer. I do like the thought of taking more of your cars. So, I can recruit a few of your top drivers to drive against you too. Bring it on. I have the world ranking of number 8, which is also the same ranking as the world champion. I'll take you all on. Anyway, who is going to... Oh, now, hang on. What's happened here? Guinea Bissau has won that race. That's what's happened. Uh, that was Mendy. Rui Mendy. Zidane Junior. Not much what happened to him. There's a couple of blurry cars. The last picture was blurry too. I need to fire the cameraman. Right. Um, and that is Carl Strom who crashed out. So we're on to a third race. And Guinea Bissau has an 11-7 lead. And they're in the lead again. They're going to win the Duck Cup! They've won the Duck Cup! Rui, uh, Rui Mendy has finished in first. They've won 18-4. to four. The Duck Cup goes to um, Guinea-Bissau. And that is terrible news for Boo Island because remember, their score gets reset to zero. So they've only got one win for this season. So the chances of them advancing to the Champions League are not good at all, even though they're in this year's Champions League. So, terrible news for them. Now, let's look at the world rankings. And there's no changes so far. But, Boogie Island should be on here. Yeah, they're there. They've come onto the board in sixth place. So, that's some consolation. Moving ahead of Italy and pushing the Italy, Slovenia, Germany, and Netherlands all down one place. I believe Switzerland was in the top ten. So, they move out of the top ten, which is a bit surprising since they did so well in the... Um, World Cup, they nearly won it. Now, this is a picture of Keldon Raven and Hakari Rin, and it was, just, it was just sent to me, and it appears they are looking at the car to see what happened in his uh, race, because remember, Keldon Raven went off twice. He had a terrible time, so obviously the car was broken, so good to see that they're checking it out and making some changes. Hopefully they can get that car fixed. Anyway, it's Lutka Brothers and Vulcan Raceway. And Race 1's going to go to Lutka, Bro Lutka Brothers. Lutka Brothers, rather, sorry. So Dragon uh, wins with Sharky coming in second. So Lutka Brothers. Oh, there's a, a Kito Tanaka. Came off at the same place as um, Karlstrom in the last race. Uh, where is Flying Fenman? Is that Flying Femin on the... Oh, he's been pushed off by Sir Dragon. Sir Dragon got spun around and managed to push off the Flying Femin. Now the Flying Femin's on the front with Akito Tanaka. And he's in the lead again. Oh, he's... A... Oh, they're both off. And it is Akito Tanaka. And Sharky in second. And that means that Vulcan Raceway are out. 
Wow, that's a big surprise. Vulcan Raceway, I, I was hoping would do really well. I do, I've raced on their track and I do okay there. Two words are okay. Yeah, then they both go off. They both go off at this, roughly the same time too. Oh, look at that. Flying Femin nearly fell off the cliff. Sharky couldn't quite get past Tanaka at the end there. It's a disappointment for Vulcan Raceway. Right, the A-Team versus Gravity Track Grand Prix. Now remember, Gravity Track Grand Prix is in, in a bit of trouble. Big Dave's Porsche is not running at 100%. And James Sterling had to have a car replacement. And he is now in the Dodge van. But it is, it's not, uh, not Indy Ray. It's Keith, Crazy Canuck, who got pole position. I haven't mentioned that. Um, uh, Gary the Giant has lent his blanket. To soften the um, soften the blow of the at the ending there, so soften the blow, so, soften the landing rather. There is uh, well, there was Big Dave, and he has got problems, hasn't he? So race two, can Gravity Track pull it back? Oh, James Sterling's on the roof, and it is the two A team cars first and second. No one else is going to finish by the looks of it, and that's done and dusted. Just like that, Gravity Track Grand Prix are out. They have just had no luck since their tournament in the Rio Sada Memorial, have they? And look, Big Dave has stopped there to go help out James Sterling, who's on his side. And we've got a replay. Yeah, going in there, James Sterling was already flipped over. And oh, there's some good driving to get around there by Crazy Canuck. Crazy Canuck gets some air coming out of that corner. Let's look at the driver world rankings. And, well, nothing's changed by the looks of it. Oh, look, I'm still in eighth. Still going to see eighth place. Can you see that, Karen? Yeah. Sorry, Karen. Sharky up four places. Big Dave down 25. Crazy Canuck up seven. Big Dave. Terrible day for him, wasn't it? So, thank you very much for watching. The next video is going to be the Champions League race-offs. And then we're going to get into the Nissan, uh, the Nissan quarterfinals. So stay tuned for that. And for now, take care. And I'll see you all in the next video.